definitely they're looking for closure. And if you take a look over here behind me here, the uh, detectives with the Indian River uh, County Sheriff's Office, they're one giant forensic step closer to finding it. Now, investigators were out here at the Winter Beach Cemetery in Vero Beach earlier this morning, digging up the body of Jane Doe. They're working with forensic researchers with the University of Florida, and what they're trying to do is gather enough additional information that will help them identify that woman and also find the person who killed her. They will do a full 3D scan of the skull. They will submit that to a forensic artist and uh, they will work to create a profile of this person that will hopefully uh, stir somebody's memory, jog somebody's memory. We know that this woman is somebody's family member, that she belongs to a family somewhere and we want to put closure to this case. Now, what detectives do know right now is that woman was found inside a ditch off of State Road 60, just west of I-95 back in 1982. She had been shot to death. They also have a wedding ring. They say there was scarring on her stomach, which may indicate that she had given birth. Now, officials tell me the remains will be taken to the University of Florida, where investigators will use new technology to um, for their facial recognition. In the meantime, I've asked them how long do they think um, the um, investigation will continue before they have have any results. I'm told it depends on the condition of the body. Reporting live near Vero Beach, Angela Rosier, WPBF 25 News. Angela.